wave eh. Can you can you see them? Can you see them? Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Uh, go. Oh, this is what me. Yes, it's you. Go. Yeah. Where's Sarah? Where's the cat? Tell me what you want me to do. Okay. Uh, as long as you can read the CSS, that's okay. Okay, wait. Yeah, start talking. This is highly professional, isn't it? <laughs> isn't this what we do all the time? Anyway, start talking, sir. I think things have improved. <laughs> Minutely. I need to change this because I just did this as an experiment recently. 
Um, I think I can turn into a media query quite easily. Um, so I'm going to play with it a bit more and, and see what happens from it. But once I've got it nicely done, I'm going to put this into every bit of my CSS every time I've got an animation. Because for the people who are affected by it, it makes a big, big difference in their lives. Done. Yay, thanks. <laughs> Passing it off to like Olivia. Olivia, are you there? Hello? Yes. Oh my god. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rockstar. Hi. Uh, can you see? Can you see people? A lot of people here. Everyone say hi. 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 Ah, thanks. Thanks. Your fan club, man. <laughs> can you hear me properly? Can. Okay. Am I going next? Yes, cause um. Oh okay. Yes, yeah, uh, I can drop off now. Why? Wow, okay. Uh, you you go first. Okay. You go first. I I. I, I need to share my screen. Yes, please. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me find this app. Oti, Oti. Oh, oh, she's back. Good. Good. Oh my god, uh, okay, I need a... What's going on? Whose screen is happening? Whose screen is this? Excuse me? Mine! Mine, 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 mine. Do you want me to stop sharing? <laughs> no, 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 your screen, don't have code pen. Your screen is inceptioning us. Yes, 
JavaScript is that um, I put the JavaScript to attach an active class, and then after that, um, everything else will just work accordingly. Um, this is another example that I did. So, um, just um, making just tying the animation properly so that it works, um, uh, like. You know, cohesively. So I'm going to show you the animation again, and I'm just going to break it down just to see uh, how it's done. It's like deconstruct it. So the first one is that I'm just moving the width of um, the before studio element, and the second one over here, um, I just pretty much changed. So you can change the marking top. You can change the top property. You can also change the translate y property. But because this thing is embedded into this little thing. Uh, and I put over to hidden, so you just only see the correct uh, percentages of the correct time. And then it's just a normal like opacity that comes after this animation um, is done. So yeah, and I'll actually give you a few more examples of what I've done so far. This is another one. Um, this is so stressful to do, uh, but it's pretty much just making a uh, transform rotate the lines accordingly, and then put maybe zero. And then I will 100 put back in at the correct time. Yeah, so pretty much. Um, yeah, I think um, it's, a lot of my work is actually like super simple. It's just I uh, take a lot of time to execute it, but when you execute it, it's, it just looks just pretty good, you know. Um, this is also one of the um, most mind blowing thing I did. Uh, it's my favorite fan of all. But basically, this is the one that's meant if you're a Harry Potter fan. Um, but you can, it's a connection, but if you open and close the map, it's pretty much uh, this. And it is super, actually super simple, it's like left and right of the piece of wood technically, and then pop and um, pop and bottom, and then if you press the map, it just closes. Um, so these are the things that you can sort of do with CSS animations in general. Uh, I'm going to touch a little bit, but only very little about JavaScript uh, animations because I actually don't use them myself. Um, in fact, GreenSoft, I Googled GreenSoft documentation for the first time for this pen. So, uh, but, uh, but you can, so that, uh, but I, that's why I need to show how good GreenSoft is. I never really needed it uh, because I can do everything with CSS animations. Also, JavaScript kind of scares me. So I try not to get into it too much. But if um, what we talk about is that it actually just animates CSS, but you can put it all in code so that it's just much easier to read. The CSS is not really like a mess because whenever I do animation, my CSS is like it's just a lot of CSS and it can get quite overwhelming. Uh, but if you do green soft, so what it does is that can you see the code? Can you see the code? It's very blur, so you just talk through can now. Then um, is uh, it's just that what um, I can show you Chris Gannon's test. Chris Gannon is one of the most amazing person uh, that uses GreenSoft. But basically, all these are SVG animation, and what GreenSoft allows you to do is just SVG animation, um, any SVG very simply, and it's not a lot of code in general. Yeah. So that's why you should totally check out Chris Gannon. That is all. Okay. Thanks, thanks so much. Yeah. Everybody your fan now. Ho. Anyway, you, you hang around. Uh, Ayaka, you come on, Ken? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, Oli Olivia Mute. You just died. Okay. And you just died. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you just died. Okay. I just died. 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 That's why I don't think so. Can you see my my can my screen? Can can can. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, okay, so I'm sorry about that just now. If my computer suddenly was starting, I have no idea why, but I think I've been using it too much. Um, so let me do like a quick talk. Um, so first, um, when I was when I heard about this concept edition. Um, I found this really, really cool site. It's called a single div.com, a.singledid.com. And if you look at the source, it's really, really cool. Um, but all of these snippets are made from a single div. Okay, I can't hear 
I think that's fun. I'm pretty sure there was like a wow going on there, right? Oh. Wow! Yeah, like considering that even this pen, like it's made from a single div, and even this animation, so like if you look at how it's made, it's made from like really like sophisticated gradients, I guess, and box shadow. Um, so I, I actually wanted to, to do something similar, but I realized it's a lot of work. <laughs> so I made something different, which is like a micro interaction. Um, so it takes a lot, it's just like an envelope um, and there's like a new letter coming out and another way is, um, yeah, um, and it's just like a small micro interaction. I'm, I'm uh, mostly a designer but I also do front end development um, and as a designer I feel like micro interactions are really important for um, just increasing new light in general. So I made this quick small snippet just to show how simple like animations can be. Um, and I, if you look at my HTML, I just have like about five no, no, no. Yeah, elements, an envelope, and a letter, and a letter next, which is like a letter that comes on top of the print letter, mm -hmm. um, and the previous notification, and the notification after. Um, yeah, and if you look at my code, it's very simple actually. The envelope it looks quite difficult, but it's really just made from um, borders. So if you look at the code, like if I change this to red, so this is like the border, right? Um, and let me change this to like, um, and let me change this to like blue. Really, It's just all like borders. Um, it's just made of borders. And also Can you the, zoom the CSS? Yeah. Can you see? Ah, better. Is it good better, better. Better? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so it's just actually made of borders. The envelope is just made from borders. So even just the simple like um, element like border can do a lot of things. I can create an envelope like this. <laughs> Yep, and then I'm just adding like transforms um, and box shadows for like a small shadow right at the bottom. And if you look at the letter, this is actually made from one div, but can you see that there's like a white part and a gray part on the bottom? So this is made with a gradient. Oh, I have to do a semi -call. sorry about that. Um, yeah, and the, the lights here are made from box shadows. So if you take a look, I have like um, a before and the next, and the before is the two top lines, um, and the after is the bottom lines. Um, and if, if you can see, like these are just box shadows, so the two lines are this, on top, so these are the two box shadows. Um, and the after, yeah, it's very similar to the top. I'm just changing the width um, so that it looks longer. So I'm just actually creating a group that looks like this line and putting box shadows to it so that it looks like there's four lines, but there's actually only one div or one, one element, I guess. It's not even one element because it's an after bit. Yeah. So this is how I made the line. Um, and then I'm just animating each animation really similar to what Olivia said. Well, but each animation is very, very simple. So if you look at the rotating and the, the notification, it's really just a combination of scale and rotate and opacity. Um, and light, which is just increasing the width from 0 to 31, which I said it to me. Um, and the letter, which is just um, changing the top and the height. So all of these are very, very simple animations, but by combining them and timing them correctly, it looks pretty decent, I think. Um, yeah. So enjoy your CSS or animation guide, and yeah, please create micro, micro interactions like this. Um, yeah, that's all. <laughs> and one thing like, 
it, like, tell me how this person looks this. Like, yeah, it looks better, but this was a bit beautiful. I want to do this, but it looks very hard. Never mind, still got yeah, chance so when you come back. Next month, next month, the month after also can. Yeah, but if I manage to decode all of this, then yeah, you might see me like talking about a single day and how I created like cool day. Can, can, can. Can. Okay, yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay, hey, you, you hang around, I'm going to turn the computer around so you can see the live people. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, mute, mute. Okay, applause, guys. Okay, so uh, today I'll be sharing about uh, actually a subset of the previous talk because uh, there was some drawing with CSS and stuff. But specifically, I'll be talking about using uh, CSS background gradients to draw. So uh, why? Uh, why not? Because we can. And uh, this was actually inspired by something called uh, oh, by something called a CSS battle. So basically, you're only you're scored after your accuracy. You're given a certain score. I think it's 600. And to get even higher score, you just use as little characters as possible. So of course, we want to keep the code to a minimum. So there is a few benefits to this technique. Uh, it's easy-ish to manage and edit. You can change sizes and things fairly easily as long as you use percent. Uh, it, it can be one single DOM element. If you want to do something more complex, you might need a few more. And it's kind of fast, somewhat. Uh, drawbacks is that there's no dynamic variables, so you can't do like anything related to a random algorithm or something like that. And uh, you're limited to straight, sli straight lines, circles, uh, I also missed up, but you also can do squares and triangles. So, uh, how do we start? So one thing, one way we can start is actually, um, we go into the background, um, the background property of CSS, and the part in, highlighted in red is what we actually care about. Uh, so you can either you know, uh, declare an image or color, you can declare its position, its size and whether you want it to repeat or not. And CSS gradients, there are two kinds. One is a linear gradient and the other is a radial gradient. So we can abuse this to hack and make some images. So, uh, okay, let's go to code pen. So this is the gradient we all know and maybe don't love. But uh, this is basically how we do, right? We start with a linear gradient, we put the degree, uh, which is the angle at which it will go. Uh, you can also omit it, it's quite easy, yeah, it still works. Uh, and then you declare where you want the color stop, and then the next color stop, and then the last color stop. Uh, so if you want to change this into a line, all we can, all we have to do is to just be more specific with our color stops, right? So we know that green stops at 30, then we, we start yellow at 30 and we end at 50, and then it becomes a line. Alternatively, if you are lazy to, to repeat yourself over here, you can just uh, use a 0, 0. This will also work. So it's the exact same result, but uh, without having to type that 30 over here. You just, you just append a 0, 0 after every color stop. So that is uh, how we make a line. Next, um, we can try to do some other shapes. So here we have a square. It's quite easy. So Linear gradient, and then because we don't really want a gradient, we just call it blue and blue. You need at least two. And then this is the, back to my notes, it is actually the position. This is the position and this is the size. And then since I don't want it to repeat, because if I remove repeat, and then it just all becomes blue. Yeah. So we will put no repeat, just so that we, we it, it won't keep repeating itself and then uh, finally, this is the, the other color that will be the backdrop. So, yeah. Uh, another way we can do things is uh, once we add a degree, we can actually draw triangles. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, this is a line first. So I just did a, a transparent, stop at 40, 48 pixel, then blue, then transparent again. And then, um, we can actually change the position fairly easily by adding like some value here and then uh, something and then we can move it up. Right, and then uh, if you want it to be tri uh, we want it to be a triangle, we just do this and then it becomes a triangle. Right, and um, yeah, so we can we can actually change the, the direction of the angle 
to maybe um, what's forty five plus ninety? Oops. But basically, you can change how the how the triangle looks. Something like that. Oops. Because live coding always goes so well. Um, okay. So after that, uh, now we have uh, triangles, we have uh, squares, we have lines. We want to do maybe something like a circle because that's the only other tool we have. So here's a circle. Uh, same thing. We add some color stock to this, and then it becomes two circles. You can remove one or the other, it doesn't really matter. You can change the place where it is, so you can circle at top left, and then it becomes a quarter circle, so you can actually give it like um, 10, 20, or px. And then you can move the thing around. So you can also use percentages of, instead of pixels, but yeah. So that's how we draw circles, semicircles, and uh, we can also do quad, uh, sem circles, semicircles, quarter circles. So with that, now we have a few examples. So this thing itself, this arrow pattern, was done using only these techniques. In fact, it's just using the triangle and the lines. Uh, other examples is something like you know this. Is this a Taiwanese cartoon called Kapu? It has a face like this. I thought it would be nice to recreate it. So this is just circles, and I just. Uh, use a blue color to block this off so that it looks like a semicircle. Right? Or alternatively you can do something like uh, because I work in e-commerce so we always have to mimic how a voucher looks. So you can do something that has this voucher kind of a tear off pattern. Oh I'm in it there. Oh dear. And uh, this is another thing that I saw online so I decided to replicate it and this is one of the CSS battle thing which uh, you can actually go to my code pen. It has Basically, it's, it's just a lot of circles. Right. So next, next slide. Uh, so tessellations. So how how to make this for something using the, using this technique called tessellations? Uh, there's actually a study here. If you go to my notes, you can probably you can go and read out on the study. Basically, there's three uh, regular tessellations uh, pattern that you can do. But most mostly we are interested in the square because square is the most easy to replicate. So how I recreated this, I saw this pattern online, I wanted to recreate this. I mean, I cropped out a square in where it seemed logical to, for, for the pattern to start and end. I divided it into segments so that I can draw the lines. Divided it into segments the other way so that I saw, I had this eureka moment where I saw first there was lines here and secondly there were triangles. So I ended up creating that thing out of this. And uh, I wanted to do a live demo of this but I guess I have no time. Uh, okay, so so we want to okay. We wanted to uh, so so I wanted to show a demo. So maybe we think out of a pattern. This is something that's kind of simple. You can obviously see that the base shape is a square. So when we crop this out, we actually find that actually it's only just two circles, right? The rest of it is kind of just repeating itself. So you doing this, we can actually do. Um, so let's we we need to start with a line, so linear gradient. Completely regret doing live coding. Oh, is there another one? Uh, zero. Black. Uh, <laughs> live coding always goes very well, so that's that. Okay, great. So we have something here. Uh, we want to add a size, so zero, and then we put some size, which is a. Uh, 100px, 100px. Great. Uh, we want the color stop. So that is a line. And then we want to draw another, we want to draw a square. So there's another line. And we change this to 90 degrees. So yeah, we got a grid. Awesome. Then next we want, uh, we want to draw the circles. Here, so so let's start with our radial gradient. And then we want a yellow, maybe then pixel. Bro, I think you love Beyonce, because I, I love Beyonce too. 
faster. I think can uh, I think can. Uh, black. Transparent. Why am I typing? Why, why am I typing out transparent? If Beyonce comes out again, you must dance more. Okay, I'm pretty okay at dancing. I think. But the choreography must be the, the that one, you know. Oh, yeah. uh, then, then no, I maybe cannot do that. Uh, so, so, so the circle location... It's showing. 30 seconds, bro. Wait, it's not showing. Hmm. Mm. Okay, never mind. Always, when live code doesn't work, always go to your... Always go to your backup, which is... 20 seconds, bro. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically the idea is very, very simple. You... Do your radial you gradient, radio? you move the circle to the top, you move the circle to the left, and then that's the pattern. Thanks. Okay, must have back up. Okay, can, can, can. Yeah. If you, you get Beyonce twice, you must start dancing. <laughs> new rule, new rule. Okay, let's. Five minutes? Five minutes? Um, yeah. Okay, come. I love these five minutes, yeah, it's my new favorite thing. Open source, eh? Okay, go ahead, like Beyonce or friends. Okay. Um. So, hi, I'm Um I'm interested a lot in generative art, um, but mostly using Java, a JavaScript and processing. But since all the cool kids these days are into CSS, are I thought I should be the hand and try as well. Um, so I've tried a couple of things. Um, CSS art using just linear and radial, uh, radial gradients. Um, but sometimes uh, for, for simple pieces like these, uh, radial gradient works very well. Uh, for intricate ones that I've, I've done a couple more, uh, we'll see later, uh, we need SVGs because curves are hard, a little bit difficult. So um, I'm very inspired by uh, pen and print designs or Islamic art. Um, so most of what I do is um, you know, repeat tiling uh, on over the background. Uh, so this one I use radial gradient especially because um, you know, when you don't have a hard stop, um, the gradient kind of disperses and gives a slight blurry effect. And most of the tiles in these cafes um, that you see these days, that they have this really blurry effect um, over the background. So I wanted to recreate that. So um, I kind of use radial gradient like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Um, just repeated the gradient over a circle and yeah, just create this one. Um, the second bit, um, since this one had, um, this was inspired by uh, a particular Iranian cafe in Mumbai. Um, so this was on the floor uh, of, of, of the cafe. So I tried to uh, take a picture and try to recreate this with CSS, uh, but the um, the curves were uh, slightly difficult to do in CSS, so I, I had to use SVG for this. Um, so you see the, uh, the borders. Um, and the circles on the borders. Actually, all the circles in this entire um, image or in this entire piece are all radial gradients. Um, the lines are all linear gradients uh, with hard starts and stops. Uh, but the curves are all um, cubic beziers um, in SVGs, uh, which are slightly easier than. I'm sorry, they are all quadratic beziers um, as, because cubic beziers are a little bit too difficult to get my head around it. So yeah, so it's, it's just got like one control point and you can, you can um, create the curves. I'm doing good for time. So um, the third piece I wanted to show was um, was this one. Um, this was another Islamic art piece that I saw uh, in a cafe in Singapore. I don't remember which one, but um, yeah, it's somewhere around the Kotong area. Um, and so this one was, um, so the reason why I wanted to show this because this is purely more of SVGs um, than using uh, uh, linear or, or, or radial gradients, except for the brown blur that you see at the, at, at the center of each tile. So that's, that's radial gradient uh, with a very high uh, stop, so it kind of blurs into the background, with the floral white background. Um, so the rest of the, the checkered board, um, the, the flourish that you see in between, they're all um, SVG parts. I love hand coding SVGs, uh, they're very therapeutic. I tell you, if you're having a very bad day, just try and code a hand code SVGs. Um, so all of these that you see, the numbers, um, I've done it by hand and I'm very proud of it. So um, so the good part of SVGs is you can actually define a definition of uh, 
particular path and kind of just repeat it and transform and rotate. And it's just amazing because um, you have to write so much less code. I mean, it looks very complicated, like the checkers look complicated and, and the flourish looks complicated and the petals look complicated, but it's just like one path defined and you just keep on rotating it. Never look back and yet again. I have one minute more, so let me show you one more. Um, so, this one. So this particular piece was, um, so this is again purely SVGs, um, it's just that what I wanted to talk about was the, so you know sometimes, uh, well, yeah, um, sometimes when you create images using pure gradient gradients or using SVGs, it's, the contrast is very sharp, it's not real life like, um, but you need some sort of um, you know, there's this is term in J Japanese called wabi sabi, some sort, some sort of an <coughs> irregularity in your image. So um, noise does that. I mean, uh, if you're into generative art, you know that uh, you you use a lot of Berlin noise to in order to add that um, little bit of changes over your art. So you could do that very easily using SVG filters. So this is what it is. Um, so you can add FE turbulence, which is actually Berlin noise uh, implemented in SVG through. Um, um, yeah, through the through the basic definition, and um, that's the end of my Thank you so much. Last, hey, last last chapter for today, right? Uh, of course, everybody. Uh, this gentleman says you wanted five minutes, right? Uh, five minutes. However many minutes you give me, I'll just give you. Five minutes, five minutes. What all the time you say? Oh, you're so big. You're so big. <laughs> sorry, sorry. One, one moment. Okay, okay, I guess it's fine. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I guess this is the... Can I change the aspiration? Hold on. You're saying waits for no one. <laughs> <laughs> Scale. It's even worse. Your choice, bro. No one saw that. Okay, so uh, I a while back I was making uh, I was doing something freelance for a friend, and I was making part of this uh, hamburger mobile menus, and I realized that. For my skill set, it was quite a nightmare for me to make the hamburgers. So I thought I made something that I felt was difficult, and this is my attempt and a pretty uh, quite a, quite a couple of hours spent writing everything from scratch. So I'll just I'll just go through everything one by one, and then if there's any questions, I'll answer them later on. So yeah, the the easiest, most boring kind of menu ever. It just you click on it and okay, cool. Like it changes, right? But nowadays, with all the animations that people are doing, you cannot look bad. So the one I actually implemented for my friend's site, I did something like this. This is the easy, I, I like to call it the easy and uh, not simple and easy one. Whereby the middle, uh, the middle one, it's, it actually just disappears. Uh, and then I, I put the, for the top and the bottom row, I just moved the, what do you call it? Uh, origin, okay, something origin. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, transform origin. That's right. Transform origin, and then it's it's all the way to the uh, to the top, the left side. So that's just uh, zero percent. Then this is the other direction from instead of this one, and then I've got another one whereby this is uh, uh it got to a point whereby for this, these ones onwards, I had to I had to start everything position absolute, which was not what I was a fan of, but because of the way I wanted it to look, it had to be done because I had to do a top, yeah, a top uh, 0, 18, 36 thing and then it had to like move. So this was what I did and then moving on, uh, I made about 18 I think. So I have go this one. This one is, uh, this is actually the one of the only ones that I'm using four lines instead of three. And then it's just by, whereby the middle part is two lines and then it just, it, rot it uh, rotates and then the top and the bottom just kind of fold into the middle. Yeah. 
in moving on to the next few uh, this one is like this kind of but uh, instead the top and the bottom go into the middle and then it happens after that yeah and then this is a there's a delay in animation for this one yeah and moving on as well this one is okay these are the slightly uh, more unorthodox ones this this is the left arrow it was quite cute and then the right arrow and I also did the other kind of arrow wait no wait, wait, wait it's not this one oops my bad okay wait do I scroll left and right from here is, is there a, wait where are the rest of my your right arrow no, where's, where's my other wait, hold on where's the wait, oh, I skip one row yeah okay sorry sorry this is the other left arrow my bad and this is the other right arrow yeah the other arrow so I've got this like play button kind of thing or like a rewind kind of thing and moving on uh, I have a plus sign as well as a minus sign which is the easiest one to make I mean other than the one that has no animation this is probably the easiest one I didn't want them to fall in the same time so I did like a little like uh, a delay thing and it took me a while to figure out the transition shorthand which I was really grateful to find out at the end and then I've got uh, other ones whereby this one is a this one is a little bit spinny spinny and the last two this one goes on forever for, wait no, it doesn't go on this one is the okay this one quite cute I feel uh, it falls in and then it rotates and then it rotates again then this one is the okay this is the slower version of this in the other direction and then I've got this one where it goes on forever yeah it spins Woo! it's a windmill and this is the other direction uh, yeah I mean it's, it was just very, very easy yeah, for this one the last one is a, uh, the last one is something that took me the last three hours well, not just three hours it took me a while to think of and like I asked my colleagues about it and they were like oh just do whatever you want and then it took me some time I decided to do this this is the I would say this is the most amount effort I put in for this one so this is the smiley face yeah. other than that uh, actually I, I okay I, I written a wrote a bit of JS as well you can see but uh, this thing actually just yeah, it just does everything at the same time, and I'm done. I call time. Uh, I call time right now. Bye.